Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, last video I did a ton of side stuff. I rescued that kid from Rhodes. I did the inequities of history and killed that slave catcher guy. Um, and then I finally did the fishing quest with Kieran so we learned more about his backstory. So it was a really nice uh, video for learning more about our camp members, learning more about Arthur, things like that. Um, we also robbed a bank with Bill so we're in trouble again with Valentine. I feel like we're always in trouble at Valentine, so hopefully we stop causing so many waves there because I'm sick and tired of paying bounties. Um, this video, I think I'm going to focus on main missions, though. Originally, I had said that I wanted to do the Flaco Hernandez, um, but I really I haven't done a ton of main missions recently, so I really just want a video devoted to that. So I think I'm going to focus on that in this video. Um, I promise I will finish the Gunslinger storyline because I want to know how it ends as well, uh, so just stay tuned for that. Before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. Here we go. I imagine you was quite something once, Miss Grimshaw. Thank you. Yes. Long time ago, we all know flowers wither. Ain't no shame in it. <laughs> Micah, you are such day. an asshole. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I'm gonna kill myself one of these days by running into a tree. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy, and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. <clears throat> the mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Yeah. So I was told to look behind the manor for a daughter of the Braithwaites. I don't know if I should do that while I'm here or if it will let me, but 
I'm kind of curious to know why I should look for her. I've heard a lot of stuff about the Braithwaites, so I'm excited Here to finally... Are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Wow, it's gorgeous. Holy Hello, shit! Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's oh. that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. Sure, climb on up. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. <coughs> Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, <laughs> who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Mm -hmm. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. We are stirring the pot, and it is not going to end well. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. I love the trees lining right. the road. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. Yeah. <laughs> you know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, well, I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? <laughs> you can't speak. You're turned <laughs> idiot. Right. Broke poor Mammy's heart. There, there, Fenton. There, there, don't get mad now. I hope we can't break these bottles on the way. 
sounding awfully rattly back there. That horse is a tank, apparently. Oh, I shouldn't go so fast in town, huh? Morning, partner. What the hell? Please, anybody! I need help! I didn't mean to. I have a feeling this is not going to end well. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> this hat looks ridiculous. My brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Ooh, I like this music. Drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's good luck. I'll have one, Fenton. Three drinks. A gift. Been there a lot longer than a half hour. Hey, send a couple this way, will you? It's a good thing we're not drinking ourselves. Free drinks, boys. Oh, the wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. Come on, Ben. People are dying of thirst over here. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Great. Oh, 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 no. Yeah. 
Oh god. <gasps> ouch, ouch, ouch! Shit. You think you can steal from us? You're dead! Get off me! Watch out, horse, you're gonna get run over by the train! So she definitely set us up. I right. kinda knew she would, but... Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertise. Yeah. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor <laughs> of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. 
And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Ooh, this is dangerous. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot. We'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Interesting. Relax. I love improving the camp. mother and don't leave me much spare time, Mr. Bell. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, if you change your mind, I will be a real good time. Real good. Oh, my God. I've always been father. The boy has a father, Mr. Bell. If you say so. Where are you, son of a bitch? If you say so. Come along, Jack. Lost my appetite. <laughs> Can I oh. punch him? <laughs> okay, so find joys of tobacco or horse flesh for dinner. I guess that one sounds gross. Let's do that one. And where is my tent? I'm all turned around right now. Howdy do, Arthur. <laughs> there we go.
Where is my horse? That horse don't listen. Come here, Siri. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. I have no idea what we're going to be doing. The name of this mission is throwing me off. I'm assuming stealing some horses, but I'm hoping we're not eating them. I know a lot of countries do, but like you, you don't know I don't want to. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody and everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. I really just want to trim his eyebrows. Just Some keep us scissors. away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Yeah. Coming past. Go on. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. 
Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite's. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. It's hard to see right now. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Poor guy is not going to have a job after this. Someone will come see you. Yeah. I hope this isn't another shootout. <laughs> Although they're a lot of fun, All right. they're also I very think that's stressful. The stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Alright, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Should I grab my guns? Shit. I probably should have. Damn it. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. <laughs> of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Uh huh, greaser, huh? Sorry, dude. Okay. I just wanted to off. knock you out, but. Don't need nobody recognizing us. I did not have that option. <laughs> I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. I don't remember how. Shit. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, easy. Easy now. Easy there. Easy. You're okay. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Easy. Oh, no. Easy. Good 
Good boy. We got him. Can't see. Why can't I turn my camera? Okay. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Shit. Get going, you two! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! More coming this way! Out of the fields! So pretty running there. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions! Loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Gotcha! Hey, hey! <laughs> yep. Okay, good. I'm glad I don't have to hold left trigger. <laughs> Over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have been oh smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come on now. <laughs> it really should you be. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Easy. Come here. Can we walk a little faster or no? What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. Okay. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. 
I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Interesting. So is he trying to set us up? Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Travel to yes, I can. what they're gonna have us do. So far, nothing we've done for either of them has gone very well. Oh, how kind of you. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. Wow. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> Damn, Hosea. Can I drive? Nope. Oh, damn it. I could please on drive. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. He said it'd be fitting, she did. <laughs> what I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. But what for sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose yeah, seriously. knows what he's doing. 
Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the break weight still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. You just robbed their horses, too. That was you. Oh, shit. Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons that makes go me worry, Sean. Wagons go in there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Are you sure about that, Sean? Yeah. English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. you want boy i've i've there, there was a thing a, a, a thing at the saloon what you talking about well i'm delivering the supplies you're not the usual driver uh, you want a bottle friend here uh, uh, have a wee drop <laughs> i'm new I, I mean you know harm uh, <laughs> I, i've come from donegal in, in ireland you don't say yeah <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Drinking and driving. Bad plan. <coughs> Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> oh, Sean's still driving. Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you <laughs> folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Brown horse? Here. The body looks here? too big for the legs. <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Why the place you yeah. boys have got here? <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the... <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> okay. Poor guy. I'll open here till it gets dark. Yikes. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Ooh, we're making Molotovs. <sighs> There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. <clears throat> We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, there nothing, guys. once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. <laughs> so... What you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Oh God, are they gonna see the body? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You okay. douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. God, are there people in the fields? Thanks. the stuff do I need? What happens if I don't do enough? Shit, so I didn't do enough in the other one then. Damn it. Should be enough for here. Okay, 
Okay, back to the ones I tried to do before. <laughs> That's good for here. Too bad. Oh, did you see that blood spurt? Heels to the ground. You pay for this. Somebody got him already. We deal with these matters. You keep on it. You ain't leaving here. Got some horses from the stage. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. This is bloody madness! Shit, here we go! Oh my god. Can I whiff anymore? That's how you want to do it! You seem to be taking it well. This is a goddamn mess. I guess I shouldn't blindly trust the red dot. Whoops. <laughs> right, oh, I was doing so well too. Get out of here. Damn it. No, we got trouble. Take up. Where are these bots coming from? Ah! Ah! Damn. Oh my god. Now I can't make a good shot to save my life. Supply wagon that came in had 
try this again. This horse is freaking huge. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? <laughs> that right way to hang out our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. <laughs> I hope Siri's okay. I don't know where she is. I think we lost them. That we Ooh. did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Yeah, because I want to do that quest with Dutch. Dutch, what do you want me to do? Something with magicians. Arthur. Arthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. 
Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Yay! I love when I get to do missions with Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Been a while, girl. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. <laughs> but he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a Interesting look. Interesting place you got here, Trelawney. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. What do you think? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Found anything? Mining company. See anything there? Charles, relax. I'm looking. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Look. Tracks. Come on. Okay, girl. They went down the... Up here. How's your tracking these days? All Not right, great. I guess. <laughs> Then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. <laughs> I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. 
Depends on how much you want to find him. Yeah. I still ain't sure. Shit. I lost it. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What are you getting off for? Okay, why is the game being weird? Go. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? No. Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come here. Oh. Brain's pretty good. Get him, Charles. You stay there. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Perfect, because yes. we do not want to go I've there. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Easy. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. I don't know how I feel about Trelawney. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow a good point. manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. After that oh. shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. 
that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so I, you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Saw birds over here. Come on. You're making a big mistake. You're mine now. Can't see you. We got one more, Charles. Son of a bitch. Oh. No, nope, that's Charles. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. me <laughs> he's mine let me take him and get out of here you have my friend he's not your friend I'll give you money <laughs> damn Charles thank you come on that was so cool you should have taken the money I know I'm a fool Oh, uh, shit. Thank you. Great. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. For Trelawney. You all right? Mm. Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's mm. held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Do we think he's still there? Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? 
You okay? He is not looking good. Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Poor Arthur. Well, it seems like we have pissed off everybody we could possibly piss off. We are poking the hornet's nest. We've got stuff going with grays, stuff going with Braithwaites, we've got bounty hunters, we've got Pinkertons, we've got Leviticus Cornwall. <sighs> I I can't but help but assume like shit is going to hit the fan real big soon because <sighs> I don't know, we're causing too much trouble you guys and I get it, we need money and it seems like a good idea to try to stoke the fire between those two rival families but it doesn't seem like a good place to be where we are right now. So, I don't know. I'm really curious to see where the story goes. I'm really excited to see what happens, but I'm also super, super nervous. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. We did a ton of missions this video, and I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. Have a great day, you guys.